the introduction of free education is an exciting path towards access to education for all, but it also comes with a number of challenges, and among them is inadequate learning spaces. Sanjika Primary School in Luangeni constituency of Chipata District is one of the schools hit by inadequate classrooms. Due to lack of schools in the area, learners are forced to walk long distances to access education as the available schools lack the capacity to accommodate or pupils. Currently, the school only has four classroom blocks against a population of more than 300 pupils, forcing them to share classrooms between pupils at secondary and primary level. Parents are now calling on the local authorities to at least build more schools in the area. <laughs> Speaking during a phone interview, single ward councillor Frank Piri said he's aware of this challenge and has advised the community to prioritize the school as they submit the projects under CDF. It's for sure that distance is a bit, it's, 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 a, it's considerable, uh, considering that the younger kids have to, to, to cover that distance. The, the issue of, of, of a primary school was actually raised, so we, we agreed that the, the, the community should actually uh, lodge that application. They should do, apply for a, a, a school. And then if you talk about the, the classroom uh, space for the kids at Sanjika, other stakeholders operating in Wangeni are concerned with the situation at Sanjika School. A well wisher, Mr. Ephraim Chilumbu, is from Jesus Care International. There's need to teach them one, it increases the number of classrooms. It is evident that the challenges faced by schools due in line with the free education policy may affect access to quality education if they remain unattended to. Reporting for Speak Up Youth and Breeze FM, I'm Daunga Yumba.